OpenAI released a new image model yesterday and today I thought we could just try it out and compare it to Nano Banana Pro. So we're just gonna do some parallel prompting and just see what the differences are. Do I prefer any of them? What are kind of the speed and stuff like that? So it's not gonna be like an in-depth insane test. It's just gonna be the things I use image models for. I wanna test it out, compare it. And this could give you some indication of uh, what model you could pick in different or similar yeah, situations. So let's just uh, get into it and do some comparison. So one thing I use uh, Nano Marana Pro for is uh, to generate like uh, images of workflows so it's easy to explain. So let's say we have like a workflow step one, step two, step three, step four, right? And we have some instructions. And the prompt I use, usually use is just create an image of this workflow, easy to understand, black background, minimal text, 69 format. So I think we're just gonna grab this, uh, all of this, I guess. And uh, let's just head over to ChatGPT images and paste this in. So I guess we can just do something like this. And um, yeah, that looks good. And I also wanna do this in AI Studio, so I'm just gonna paste it in. And I want to try to start them as similar as possible. Okay, run, and let's do the same here. And uh, let's just take a look at how the speed is. And um, it says that the ChatGPT model now is four times faster because that was very slow before. So they must have put some more compute on this. Um, so we're gonna kind of compare. So this is 20 seconds. And this is, I don't know if you have a timer here, but just uh, give it some time and I'm gonna kind of compare who's finished first here. So while we wait for that, uh, I want to talk a bit about my AI video course platform. If you want to dive deeper into AI video and start generating millions of views online, uh, I have had some good success with this and setting up these autonomous pipelines. And people seem to like it because they always come back to watch more. So uh, yesterday I updated my platform, so now I have a module on my AI video selfie autonomous workflow I did on the um, YouTube channel a few days ago. So here I can go into more detail of how you can set this up. You will probably see a video in the background how this workflow works now. So this is a super cool workflow that has worked very well for me and I've been a bit hesitant about sharing this but I, I think it's time, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, I might have to put the price up a bit, so if you want a nice holiday price, you can do this yeah, over the next couple of weeks, I guess, and play around this during the holidays. So yeah, check it out, link in the description, and let's go back to the video. Okay, so that was done, so that was pretty quick. Okay, so I would say a ChatGPT was a bit quicker here. Uh, I don't really like the results though. First of all, it's not cropped correctly. It's kind of off screen, so that's not good. Uh, other than that, it's fine. It just missed a bit on the cropping. Uh, yeah, and the arrow there is a bit strange. And yeah, it's not perfect, but it's okay, I guess. So let's take a look at, yeah, this, this is what I like, right? So this is something I like. This is much better. So we have kind of the user image, the prompt, the model, the songs. Yeah, this is much better. So I would definitely give this to Nano Banana Pro, even though it's, this is an improvement over the old model for sure. I thought we could do some iterations. So we're gonna upload a source image, then we have four different prompts we're gonna use. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna read them out after a while, but uh, let's just look at the source image. I thought we can use this one, right? This is from said Image Turbo, by the way, great image. So this is gonna be our source image and we're just gonna do four iteration prompts to see how well we kind of preserve the character. So I'm just gonna copy the first one here and let's head back to ChatGPT and stuff. And yeah, I guess we could just start here on Nano Banana. I'm just gonna upload all the images and set this up. So the prompt is move the person in the source image into a coffee shop with a laptop and a cup of coffee. In the background, there's a text on the wall. Click this button with a red button below it. Okay, so I'm gonna start this in ChatGPT and I'm gonna do the same here. Same prompt, remember, and aspect ratio. I, de I guess I didn't say that. So for this, I'm just gonna pick 69. And let's see what we get here. We probably gotta get like a square image, but I, I guess that's fine. I didn't specify that. So yeah, let's just run this and let's compare the two results here. Yeah, this is not bad. Uh, she's taking a sip of the copy. We can clearly see the text here looks good. And we have the button, okay. 
Uh, this is not bad, and this is a bit different take on this. Uh, I would say I prefer this one because we kind of have the coffee shop in the background in this bouquet effect. This was a bit close, uh, but uh, we're just going to keep uh, with it. So now we're going to do some iterations. So the next is going to be she's standing next to the red button. She's looking at the button. So this is going to be very close though, but let's see what happens. So I'm just going to follow up with that. And here I'm just going to do the same. I Hopefully it's going to be possible to iterate here. She's standing next to a button. Okay, so let's see how that turns out. Okay, so this iteration I think I would give maybe to uh, OpenAI here or Chat GPT image because she's following the instructions pretty good here. She's looking at the image at the button and she is standing. But if you look at Nano Banana Pro, it's a bit different. It kind of took some. She just turned around, but it, she is looking and ready to click. So. But she kind of kept, yeah, I, I guess they both did a, did a pretty good job here, to be honest. Uh, I guess there was no room for standing here, so I accept that. Uh, but again, pretty good instruction following from both here. So let's just do the next iteration, and that is going to be a cinematic shot of the person actually pressing the button. High tension, dramatic. So let me set that up. Okay, so if you look at ChatGPT here, it kind of turned it into this. Uh, yeah, not bad. It kind of changed the coloring of the image a bit. And she is pressing, that's good. Yeah, this kind of changed. Uh, maybe this is more cinematic. And if you look at this, this looks a bit more dramatic because we kind of have the smoke. The, the lighting is turned down, I think. It's a bit more dark and she's definitely pressing. So I would kind of, kind of give it to this one. It looks a bit more dramatic as I instructed. Uh, but this is fine. She shouldn't be smiling, at least, when it's dramatic, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's not bad, it's not bad. So, let's take a look at the final uh, thing I wanted to do. So, here is kind of something different. So, be creative, create the next scene of what happens uh, after the button is pressed. Shock the audience. Scene off, I guess. So, I'm gonna copy this. So, this is more testing how creative, of course, this is gonna be. So, I'm just gonna pick what I prefer here. Uh, again, this is subjective. There's no uh, answer here, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna run these two and pick the one I think uh, was most interesting and kind of follow the uh, instructions uh, most. Okay, so we have the results. So this is from ChatGPT. I think this was pretty good, right? Because you can see we are in some kind of control room. She's still pressing the button and there are some kind of Yeah, rockets or something here launching so that's dramatic at least, and it's kind of shocking. So I think this was a pretty good job. Uh, if you look at the uh, Nano Banana, this was pretty cool, right? Because we, she now <laughs> took her laptop, she's in some kind of jungle, and we can still kind of see she went through the coffee shop here in some kind of portal. That was also pretty good. So mm, which one do I like the most here? Uh... I think I'm gonna pick this one. I think this was pretty cool, uh, but this was very creative, and I like that we kind of still see this. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna give this one to the ChatGPT. I just like this more, but uh, both were pretty good if you ask me. So next, uh, I want to do some simple infographics just to see how that is. Create an infographics that explain how an LLM work. This should be Eli Five, like explain it like I'm five. Minecraft Team 69 format. So let's see how the new ChatGPT images does on infographics. Okay, so here ChatGPT is very slow, right? I don't know. It's it's going now, but if you look at the, this, has been done for like a minute now, and it's just great, right? We knew this. We know how good Nano Banana Pro is at uh, creating these infographics. So you can see gathering knowledge. All the text here looks good. Breaking it down, you can see we have this gathering knowledge. This is kind of this library with the Minecraft. And here is breaking it down into cubes. I like that. And we have this workbench. And here it's the tokenization or the transformer. Uh, we have this tokenization here, right? That's pretty cool. And here's how to build a house. First gather wood. And yeah, I kind of like that. That was pretty good. So let's see uh, ChatGPT now. All right, not bad. That looks pretty clear, if you ask me. Let's... Learning from text. A lot of patterns. Creepers are scary. We have some uh, data here. Building knowledge. Facts, world knowledge base. Creating responses. The creeper is... 
Word out, very dangerous. Generating text, okay. I think this did very good too. I think I kind of like the graphics of the ChatGPT one a bit more maybe. So yeah, I think both did a good job here. And pretty impressed by ChatGPT on this one. So I'm definitely gonna try this out more. And I don't see any issues with uh, the text here. And yeah, very good, not bad. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to do is just a simple background remover because this is something I use and here I think I have been using both, but uh, previously ChatGPT was pretty good at this. So I'm just gonna run, uh, remove the background of this image and do the same here. So I remember the last ChatGPT image model was very good at background removal or background image, uh, removing backgrounds from images. So let's see if it can still keep that up. So yeah, I'm just, damn, that was fast. Okay, so let's look at the Google results. So the speed is definitely still on Google's site, I think. Side, I think. Uh, okay, not too bad. Let's just uh, open this a bit bigger here. Let's remove that. Uh, all right, this is fine. It's a bit, maybe a bit blurry, but let's check out ChatGPT's one. Uh, it's fine. Uh, okay, so this is a bit slower, so I'm just gonna take you back when this is done. Okay, that was fast. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is better, I think. So you can see it actually does remove it. It doesn't just put this, uh, yeah, on. So you can see this is a transparent image. And uh, yeah, that looks very good. So I would definitely give this to ChatGPT, as expected. I think so. So yeah, that was basically what I wanted to try out today, and my conclusion is that definitely improvements on the ChatGPT image one, and uh, yeah, the speed is a nice improvement, and I think they good, did a pretty good job, but it's a bit early, I'm gonna keep trying it out, and just include it in my workflows, just to see how well it works. Uh, but so far, I think it's pretty good, but uh, I'm not quite sure if it's gonna work with these complex things, with the graphs and stuff, that's gonna be another time. But yeah, so far, pretty impressed. Not bad. So go check it out. I think you, I think it's everyone can use this. I think so. Uh, but yeah, maybe this gave you something, inspiration, something you want to try out. I hope so. And yeah, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you again tomorrow.